Hi, I'm Michael from SharePoint Pro, and generally on this channel, I'll be demonstrating how to use out of the box Office 365 products. However, today I'm gonna to demonstrate how to use a application that I built and is for sale in the SharePoint store. So if you're not interested in that, check out my other videos. If you're here, my guess is that you've discovered just how terrible the SharePoint recycling bin is. It can take ages to scroll through all the different files to find the one you're looking for to restore. So to combat this, I built a custom application which you can install easily and you can use to search and filter the recycling bin and quickly find the file you're looking for and restore it. I will demonstrate how to use that. Okay, so here we are in the SharePoint standard recycling bin. And as you can see, there is no search functionality. So in order to find a single file to restore, the only thing you can do is scroll through and find it. Now I've got over 7,000 files in this recycling bin. So as you can imagine, finding one particular file can be extremely time consuming. Now you can create a PowerScript script uh, to find it. And I may do a video on that in the future. But for this video, I'm going to show you how a custom application I built works. The custom application is called Advanced Recycling Bin. And you'll be able to find that in the SharePoint App Store. I'll leave a link to it in the description and I'll show you how that works now. So I'll head over there. Once you have the app installed, head over to Site Contents and then click Advanced Recycling Bin. From here, it's gonna download all the items in the recycling bin that you have access to and you can configure how many rows are shown. You can also filter based on the original location which is the document library or list. Uh, the type, it could be file, folder, list item, or list. The person who created the, the file in the first place and the person who deleted the file. Then you can search based on the file name. And as you can see, it took me less than two seconds to find the file that I'm looking for. And then you simply click on it and click restore. And that's it, the file has been restored. So if you're interested in this, head over to the SharePoint App Store and give it a go.